sports are very special. Just never thought about. You never thought about boxing or anything like that? Oh, no. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Could, you, could, could, could you go, though, when you, you know, was, boxing would have been part of the training back then? Well, I grew up in Sunbury, uh, so uh, <laughs> right. you had to fight. You had to fight, right. You had yeah, to yeah, fight. Yeah. Yeah. David, I remember watching your career, and then this is a genuine observation, that it was very weird at the time for David Schwartz to be in the same team as David Neitz. Yeah. For, to, like I had for, to have two key position players that, that whose surname finished with Z. <laughs> Look, I'm here. To, I'm here to ask the hard questions. <laughs> but, but I just, I just, I just thought it was very noticeable at the time. Well, we got confused all the time, um, all the time. I actually lived uh, in Camberwell. And my next door neighbour thought I was David Neese nice for four years. <laughs> four years. But what? it's such an what? easy mistake to make, though, because, you know, playing at Melbourne, they're both doing well, there's two Davids, uh, you know, you're both key position players, you're both Hall of... Oh. No, we're not. Um, no. <laughs> no, it's an easy mistake yeah, to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you... What, how did you... <laughs> <laughs> Ox, how did you? Did, uh, four, four years, you say. Yeah. Is it, how did you? Did you tell? What did you do with, with your neighbour? How did you handle it? No, I sold and uh, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, broke it hard. Get out of there! She, she, <laughs> really, no, she said. To, I remember she saying, "Good luck, David," and uh, I kind of walked away. And I don't think she ever knew. Like, I still don't think she knows now. It was an easy mistake to make. Let's uh, let's move on from the whole David Schwartz, David Neitz uh, thing. Let's have a look at some more of your highlights, mate. Because you could really do anything, mate. You could take a big. <laughs> You can take oh, a big mark. Yeah. Look, look at this. Oh, oh look at that. Hey, oh, you're Sarah. melty. Oh, you're melty. Uh, what? Sam. Jeez, no. you are good on the lead, weren't you? <laughs> and Bang. a straight kick for goal. <laughs> good on you, David. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> no, the, um, it's, it's very awkward. Now, no, no, yeah. sorry. That's, yeah, that's Not as bad a... as a Hall of Fame bit, but anyway, <laughs> we'll keep going. Hey, can we go back to 94? Uh, because there was, a, there was a period of 94 where you were in the minds of many people, and you can see why. Look at that. The best player in the competition. People were saying, this bloke has now arrived well and truly, started in 91, uh, three years into your career, he's is, is arrived. He's almost gone past Wayne Carey in the minds of some people. You had, oh, how, how did it like feel that. to be playing footy at the sort of level you were playing back in, in that year? Yeah, it was good. We had, a, we had a very good side, and um, when you had good leaders around you and a good coach, it, it all became pretty easy. So uh, you're playing on the MCG every week. It was it was great. It was, was it always going to be Was it always going to be Melbourne? I asked this mm -hmm. like, was anyone else looking at your mate? Uh, I nearly went to Frio. They they put in a a, a big offer, uh, which came in. <laughs> in, in <laughs> Good decision. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Good decision. Um, yeah, there's other clubs, but I, I, no, I just had. I, I love Melbourne. I love my teammates, and I was comfortable. So yeah. you, you made your debut in '91. Yep. Is it? I, my memory is that between '91 and a period early '92, you, you gave it away. You, it wasn't for you. You'd made up your mind that this yeah. is capable. Is it? What? What happened? Uh, I quit. I, I thought I'd, I could have got some more games in '91. Yep. I, got, I got six. So I, uh, I had the dummy. So I spat the dummy and went up to Gove, up to Nullumbai. Right. Uh, my mate was a miner up there, and I thought, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So um, I went to mining, and I didn't realise they're only that big, the shaft. So <laughs> it wasn't. It was bloody uncomfortable. So I, I, I lasted and two they, weeks. They work for more than 100 minutes, too. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah, they they do. get oranges. No. no one's rubbing you down. No, no. no recovery. <laughs> pretty yeah. telling the mines. And it was hot. Yeah. It was very hot. I, I think you're right, Mario. I think some, some people may have forgotten how good this man was when he was at the top of this oh, game. No, uh, we've showed some of your big... Well, no, we showed David Neitz's big mark, <laughs> yeah. but some of yours as well, by the yeah. way. And there was one in that 1994 semi-final, which was a cracker. And the commentary by Sandy Roberts... Um, well, have a listen to this, because he compares you, David Schwartz, to one of the all-time greats. Well, they're about to go out with this one. He centres it. It's a high kick. Nureyev! <laughs> Nureyev. Nureyev. That's right. Now, now I, I, we never play at the highest level, but I can't imagine a higher praise uh, from, a, from a commentator than comparing your mark to Soviet ballet dancer Rudolf Nureyev. <laughs> Would that, be, would that be fair to say, Ox? You know, I've asked Sandy about this all the time. He go, I said, what were you He wore tights. Like, he, yeah. he was a ballet dancer. Yeah. I, I, don't, and I still don't get it. I, I look at I that. Still don't get it. Where I look at that from? and I do I think, like, what was he thinking? Because that grand jeté has got Varishnikov written all over it. 
cut off. <laughs> hey, you meet you meet some really influential people uh, along your way yep. in in any footy career. Certainly one as long and, and at times as challenging as yours. How influential was a, um, a figure was Neil Baum for you? Oh, he was unbelievable. Uh, he just came in at the right time. He was he, he had this uh, persona and he had this reputation that he was a hard man, and we've all seen the vision of him. Uh, so we kind of were fearful when yeah. he arrived. Yeah. Um, it was, he came along and he just, we just clicked and it became, he was just a ripper. He just, he did, he got really small feet there. Um, <laughs> uh, but he was just, he was just... Huge man, tiny feet. <laughs> but he was you reckon, just... You reckon he should have coached longer? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it got a bit, it got a bit ugly with him and Joe towards the end. But he was, he was fantastic. Actually, I did have a bit of a running with him at one stage. Um, I, he had the favourite car spot. So at the Junction Oval, car parking in St Kilda is pretty rare. So we had the, he had his spot, and I just bought this new car, Honda Prelude. Like beautiful blue yeah, no, and low, flash, and yeah. I didn't want to park it in the St Kilda street, so I thought I'll just park in no. Barmy's car spot. And uh, so I walked in, and I was speaking to Jackie, who was on reception, and Barmy came steaming in. And I thought, oh, I've never seen him angry, and he was fuming. <laughs> and he said, uh, who's this Theo X parked in my car spot? And I kind of looked, and I said, oh, Barmy, it's me. And he looked at me, and I said, no, it's the Ox. Uh, he, he had no idea because I, I, I had personalised number plates. And he said, "He said, well, bloody move the thing, would you?" And from that day on, he was so, so against uh, anyone parking his car. But he was, he had a, he had an evil streak. He had it. He yeah. had it in for Theo X. Yeah. Well, Theo. So it's funny. You, it's interesting. So you bring personalised plates. You bring, you bring up Theo X because when you first started, and from those early um, highlights, we can see what the nickname was: the Gazelle. But then in '95, you have the three knee recos. Yep. in the one, 12, one sort of 12 month period which yep. is unbelievable and that's when when you came back your nickname had changed from the gazelle to the OX. Yeah well it changed, my body had changed, I'd gone from 107 to 123 kilos and um, you know I was pumping iron yeah. and just strong and all that sort of stuff but it was just, yeah, I had to change because I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So, so you do your first knee in, a pre, in an intra-club pre-season yep. game, you come back unbelievably for a man of your size in 16 weeks, you play yep. your first game against Collingwood and we're all we just can't believe you've been able to come back in the sort of nick that you come back tragically the very next week against Sydney this seemingly and well it's an innocuous move that you oh, make yeah. and it goes again did you come back too soon have you thought much of that <laughs> yes well yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Time you must. You're not coming back unless you think you've done no. everything required to come back. No, right? and you do the Cybex test and you do all the squats and all that sort of stuff, and it all tested right. But they didn't realise that the graft needed uh, between seven and nine months to heal properly. Right. And the only way they can find out is through cadavers. So they had, they had to wait for some skiers to die over in Germany and France oh, before they could actually understand properly. So luckily, a couple of those died, and they they found. Well, not luckily, but no, they no, found, I know what you but they found yeah, out, and it was seven and nine so months. So essentially, you came you came back to. Our Avalanche is too early. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Cadaver, cadaver's a, uh, a subject close to the hearts of many members of this panel. Of course, we have one who hosts the show every week. <laughs> but, uh, doing one knee is bad enough, um, let alone three, uh, Ox. But I would say this, though. At least after your second one, just before seeing the doc, you were trying to remain positive. Geez, I'd love to come out and wake up after the anaesthetic and for it to be, you know, just have a bit of tape on my leg, I'd be pretty happy. But, you know, it's. Uh, I think I'm... Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's any chance. I've <laughs> <laughs> got a, a follow-up question. Yeah. Do you reckon you came back too early? <laughs> the, uh, now, can I ask this? I, I want to ask this. You could, how hard was it to come back after three because you played 173 games, you could have played 300, but you could have played 70. Yeah. So how, after the third one, Ox, you 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 grafted a career, didn't you, mate? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I did it. I think it was sixty yeah, game sixty four when I did my last one, and um, so I played, ended up playing another hundred. It was, you know, I just wanted to play. So you just you get back on the horse, and um, you know, and, and Mum was really big about showing the same faith to the footy club that they'd shown to me. So I had a contract that was unwavering, so it was a, a four-year deal. So I did it in the first year of that contract. Oh, yeah. So, 
you know, just got back and trained really hard and, and got back on oh, and, and away we went. Yeah. Well done. He had great hands. So it's the one thing that he always had. I mean, the knee might have let him down, but the one thing that we've seen in some of those highlights, and he had when he did come back, he, the big fella always had great I hate hands. to take issue with you. I strongly disagree. But, but, um I said I strongly disagree. Uh, I hope you've oh, got oh, something oh. to No, prove. no, no. He had great hands, although yeah. I will say this, Ox. They did let you down once. Uh, really? You were interviewing Justin Kaczynski. Oh, oh, and, oh, and, no. and, and, mate, oh no. Justin had a, had a you know, he sort of, and yeah, mate, you've got a, just one grab from you, Ox. Nah, oh. dropped him. Oh. Ox, you know, better that, than that's that. That's play on. That's play that. on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to drop my clipboard. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair oh, that enough. was that was scary. No, like, that is um, scary. Yeah. And the, the funny thing was, he just after he came to, he said, uh, "How did I go?" <laughs> I said, "Oh yeah, you smashed it, mate. You're, you're, you're unbelievable." So, um, mate, your contribution to the game continues. Of course, your life post playing in the media has been uh, a, a great success, and it continues uh, um, to this very very day. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank and you, and having a laugh Thank with us. David Schwartz, our very special guest. Don't go anywhere, folks. Heaps more still to come on the front bar on the other side of this. Yeah.